airlift performance management. Coming over something nice. Woo! Right right now. I told you I'm not ready. Stock DE, B Series EG. Let's see the fucking wheels on that thing. YouTube, what is up everybody? It's your boy Nick Stacks back at it again with another video. And today we are gonna be doing something with Nizzy. As you can see, I have the trunk popped. You're probably wondering, what are we doing? Let me uh, flip you guys upside down here. You guys see it, man. You guys are probably gonna hate me, love me, but it's my choice, my car. Whatever I want to do to her, I am allowed to do to her. And if you guys don't like it, that is your choice. You see this dumbass tree right here? Whatever the fuck this is, I got to get rid of this shit. Look at what, the, bro, like, like, bro. Pollen demon, bro. Like, bro. I got to get rid of this fucking tree. I don't know what the fuck kind of tree it is some cactus bullshit but yeah man cars are fucking dirty airlift uh, let's get this out the way i don't know if you guys can see airlift performance management used used controller not bad everything works we got two new compressors used tank and then we ordered fly air uh brand new struts uh, bags, struts for the car. Wasn't gonna buy used struts. Ended up not cheaping out and uh, pretty much, you know, where I needed to save the money on the management because every car uh, is capable of using the same management, whatever. Saved money. New compressors, used tank, five gallon tank, two compressors, airlift three piece. So it's pretty much airlift three piece management on Fly Air. Uh, struts for the 350Z and G35. Man, with the plan, man. Coming over something nice. See the wood we picked? It looks kind of fucking tan on camera right now, but it's actually like a snow gray. Could be the dust from being a box. No, no, no. I'm talking about the camera, like how it looks on cam. But it's actually like a snow white. Yeah, my yeah. yeah. The camera's showing it like tan, but. Got this shit. Step one, trunk setup. Can't just do a basic setup. If I'm gonna fucking set it up, might as well fucking do it the right way. A little before and after, man. Then do the little tank back there. Two compressors, management in the middle. All together. Trunk set about to be calm. What did I spend? Whopping 70 bones. <laughs> I was gonna do the marble, but the marble was taxed. Then you do this. Nice little trace. Yeah. Alright. As y'all can tell, that boy got the stencil. All we need to do is put a little piece right here. And then all these ends are gonna get cut. All that's gonna get cut. Shape the trunk and bada bing, bada boom. We're gonna have that snow white cocahina cement gray fucking trunk setup with the five gallon tanko. <laughs> Compressors, everything. Everything. Y'all probably haven't seen this car in a fucking minute. Not bad, not bad. I'll get back to y'all whenever we get this fucking uh, stencil finished. Soon to be back, Nizzy, man. Nizzy's gonna be aired the fuck out, nigga. Stop playing. That bit coming along, man. That bit is money. You see the fucking product. Next, we're gonna do the wood back there for the tank. Let's 
Step one, buy the bags. Step two, make a nice trunk setup. Step three, install time. Gonna clean her up. Next is the install. What is up everybody? It is day two of the airbag install. We uh pretty much, I don't know where I left off yesterday, but we got the wood secure, the wood cut, uh, everything pretty much done. So now what we're going to do is finalize the uh, trunk setup, put the wood in, and then we're gonna start uh, putting in the compressor, the tank, and so forth. So yeah, I'm gonna get to my homie's house and I'll talk to you guys when I get there. All right, we just pulled up to the homie's crib. We are getting shit handled. All right, y'all, an hour went by. That shit money. Yeah, this motherfucking trunk is dirty. Dusty. She gonna get a nice little wipe now when she done. Nah, that shit tough. The other Nick. But there was still something in it. Oh it my like god, do y'all see that? Hey man, I'm a killer. I don't care if you a stripper. This nigga said that shit crooked. That shit crooked as fuck. That nigga hurt. That nigga got cross eye. <laughs> nah, that shit. That motherfucker look tough. Yeah, I think you should for some PRVs or some. That's what, bro. Why am I fucking? My dad said the same thing. <laughs> YouTube, what is up? It is the next day. As you can tell, it is sunny outside, and uh, boy just got off of work. And I know I showed you guys what the setup looked like yesterday, but just want to show y'all in the daylight what we are working with here so here is the setup in the Z have the cement white wood uh, this piece is gonna get fixed cuz it's low-key like falling a little bit I gotta click it back in but yeah guys shout out that boy stance garage aka El Heno for getting me right so we pretty much mounted the management, compressors on the side, and then we got the tank pretty much hidden in the back because my tank ain't the prettiest. I still um, got the struts on the way. We went with Fly Air. It's a dude out here in Central Florida. He got his own brand, Fly Air. You guys probably have heard of him. If not, yeah, we went with Fly Air. I think he's sponsored with Airlift. What is up, everybody? It is about a month later and as you can see look what has finally came in <laughs> fucking two years later brother whoa, whoa. oh she's done for she's pack it up beer. no more beers Something like, it's like a cut his hair off? Wings and shit on there. Get the fuck out of here. I'll get wings out of here. Oh, that boy cut the locks off, hell. Drunk as a night. Drunk as hell. Bro, I didn't even realize this shit. Anyways, that boy finna get to it, man. I know y'all don't really. Y'all niggas wanna learn how to install some fucking bags? Go watch another niggas video. Cause this ain't it. Everything's in the dark. Come on, this ain't worked on though. Went to the fucking deli, got the bacon, egg, and cheese. Bacon, egg, and cheese. I niggas put tomatoes on my bacon, egg, and cheese? Oh, hell no. Nah. Hey, yo, see? You would've went to my spot, nigga. You would've got it right. What kind of fluky ass bacon, egg, and cheese this is? That shit probably gonna hit. That shit about to hit, though. Look like fucking bench to you, nigga. RPF one's good seats. Boy, right now. Right I told you I'm not running. Oh, I know. <laughs> yes. What's up? What's up? Hello. What's Yo, in started? the comments down below, y'all let me know. Two thousand, what four? Two thousand four, two thousand five. De G thirty five. 
EG Hatch, B Series. Which one y'all think got it? Leave it in the comments down below. Stock DE, B Series EG. Y'all see the fucking wheels on that thing? The man with the plan, big static shit, nigga. Camber gang, you see it. Man with the plan. Stance Garage, man. Little update. Didn't want to bore you guys. That's where we are right now. Lines have been ran. Trunk is combobulated. That boy doing what he got to do, man. I think the backs are done, right? Both of the backs? Yeah. yeah both of the rears are complete. Just waiting on, ended up running out of 3 8 holes, so waiting on that to do this front end. He's starting on the other end. Man with the plan, man. YouTube, what is up? I'm not gonna lie, it has been a good little minute since I've talked to y'all and since you guys have got an update on Nizzy. So, you guys are probably wondering what the fuck happened? Did the bags go good? And as you guys could tell, yes indeed, the bags did go good. We have some minor uh, problems with, not the bags, well, kind of with the bags. First things first with the bags, I can't fully um, set the management up with the uh, controller yet because obviously um, you have to have clearance and problem number one, these motherfucking tires, too fat. To air out the car is fully aired out this is what it looks like the tires on the front and the tires on the rear are a little too fat fronts air out good could be lower backs just as low as it fucking goes because on the quarter panel right here needs to get rolled it's a flat piece of metal and the wheel is just sitting right on top of the fucking quarter panel as you can see probably not but yeah so we can't pretty much uh, set up the bags to where I can set up five different ride height adjustments. I only can air out and air up one uh, all the way up, all the way down. Obviously, I can manually set the numbers, but I haven't really been doing that until I like get the wheels, uh, the wheels set up correct. We're gonna be getting a new wheel soon, but yeah, guys, here she is. give you guys a little preview I'm gonna show you how it looks when it airs up one of the fittings are leaking I think it's this side front is leaking because usually what the fuck is wrong with this dumbass dragonfly this nigga is dumb as shit are you straight fool nigga smashing it nigga committing did all this shit for, for the free so better than nothing I do need some new tents so let me show you guys a little something yes this controller is a little fucked up that's what happens when you buy used parts but like I said I got it for dirt cheap so I'm not complaining I can see the numbers that's all that matters I use my phone anyways as you can tell it's all supposed to be on zero this one's not on zero so this one's trying to like match it 148 it's supposed to be on 150 whatever 150 compressors turn off uh, As you can tell you see the number 75 this one's to air up Ride high Kind of low, but you can still ride on it and then fully aired out you Can't do none of these yet because as you can see at the bottom right there You see how it says calibration. I need to calibrate the car, but I can't because uh, The wheels aren't uh, the wheels are getting stopped by the quarter panel So it won't let me fully set it up so that's nothing. I'll get that done uh, whenever I get new tires, new wheels, whatever. I'm going to air the car up and I'm going to air it out just so you guys can see what it looks like. 
you just click this car airs up compressors are going to come back on okay we're at 100 you don't really want to go too high mines i can go all the way to like 130 140 this bitch will be in the fucking sky hopefully you guys can hear me 130 140 this bitch will be in the sky but i usually ride on like one see still went up more let's go outside show you guys what it looks like bro yo you want to you want to hang gang gang want to hang or something you bored see back to uh i mean the fronts weren't this high before it was way higher than they used to be the back is damn near the same like it used to be we need to adjust the fronts a little bit we need to lower it it's just like coilovers you can adjust them to the perfect height so yeah we monster trucking but this is good because like if i got to enter any parking lots or anything raise this bitch the fuck up fucking tires need to get fucking uh the wheels gotta go three piece coming soon i will be keeping these wheels probably let's get the fuck out the sun bringing my janky ass tripod hey man budget budget tuber in the cut but yeah man let me know what you guys think down below i was gonna keep this video going on Wait till I get my new wheels, wait till yada yada, adjust everything, but now nah, we're just gonna say the Nismo is officially bagged, because she is, and maybe we'll do other videos like doing adjustments, getting ride height perfect, new wheels for her, fixing this problem with the quarter panel. 275 40s, I think I'll probably go like 35 on the sidewall, same thing with these, I think I'm gonna go 35 on the sidewall. I might go smaller wheel in the front though. 255 is kind of big. I might do 245, 35, 265, 35. And pretty much, you know. Have her sitting a little better until I get my wheels, like I said. I really just need a little skinnier tire just so that I can sit perfect. It's almost there. It's just this is probably hitting the fender liner and defender and like i said this just needs to get rolled <laughs> 